Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we get to take apart the Tempur-Pedic Lux Adapt Mattress. Let's go. Okay, so we got the Tempur-Pedic. We finally got a Tempur-Pedic. Well, we've done a few Tempur-Pedics. This is yeah. probably what I think our third Tempur-Pedic that we've done. Something they, like that. You know, they've been around forever. They have so many different models. And I would say they are probably one of the most game-changing mattress companies in the last 30 years. They've done a great job For at sure. their marketing. They've mm -hmm. done a great job at bringing awareness to like memory foam. They're like the originators their of the memory foam. product development. Like they, they do put a lot of money into that. Yeah. I mean, they have done an amazing job. I mean, they started at nothing and then they end up buying Sealy. Mm -hmm. You know, and FYI, Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, same company, same ownership. But yeah, Tempur-Pedic, they are the origin of the memory foam. Yeah. And so this is the Tempur-Pedic Lux Adapt Mattress. Now, full disclaimer, this is what, 2020, 1920? 2018. 2018, okay. Now this is the firm, but as we're shooting this video, this is, it's cold in here. It's like in the 40s yeah. as we're shooting this video. It's it cold. is cold. Now this, with if you don't know anything about memory foam, memory foam is very temperature sensitive, which means that in a cold room, it's going to be hard as a rock. Yeah. In a hot room, it's going to be softer. Soft because and doughy. It, and, yes. Yeah. Now this one, like, this is hard like if you you'll get hurt if you fall on this thing right now oh, for sure and that's and it's not in the freezing but it's a firm mattress it says firm but it's not supposed to be that firm yeah so it is hard yes it is i mean i'm looking like man you know here's a little tidbit a little fun fact for you the name this is as i understand it the name tempurpedic came derived from temperature because it is temperature sensitive mm -hmm. you know temper material we have a friend he has a mattress company in like north dakota and he said one of his tempurpedic mattresses fell off the truck and it cracked because north dakota was like cold in the Ugh. single digits yeah and it cracked the, the whole mattress that's how you know temperature sensitive it is so that's a little fun fact for you. But so Gabe, what is the background on this one? This is the Tempur-Pedic. Yeah. And by the way, this one retails, I believe like 40, around 4,200 bucks. Nowadays, if you buy the Tempur-Pedic Lux, it's about 4,200 bucks in a queen size. I want to say about 47, 4,800 in a king size, give or take a mm -hmm. couple hundred bucks. But so yeah, this is one of their nicer ones. One of their upper level Tempur-Pedic models. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, it actually performs you know, pretty good. It's, there's not like a, you know, big dip impressions or anything like that. Visually, yeah, I mean, we got, our guys dragged it through, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. And then, uh, but the customer, husband and wife, for the husband, just did not like that sinking in feeling, feeling just got tired of that memory foam feeling. They were over feeling the memory like foam. When he's moving from one side to the other, just a little bit more effort. Yeah. And did not like that. Yeah. And, and also, I've said this in a couple other videos, but like as we do these videos, a lot of it does not reflect the quality of the mattress. Some of these returns are just comfort issues, which means that it's just a comfort, that comfort subjective. So it doesn't reflect the quality of the mattress. Like the, in this case, for example, it was more of a comfort issue, mm -hmm. you know? So I just don't want to look like we're bashing on the mattress, but yeah. I do want to take it apart, see it inside because yeah, it's Tempur-Pedic. And plus the way Tempur-Pedic does it, it's a beautiful looking mat. I think it's a nice looking mattress. Yeah, they did a good job. The way know? with the blue and the white, just like the color combo. I mean, just a good luxurious mattress. I and like it. Even the zipper, like, you know, we always cut open the mattress. This one, we have the zipper. And even the zipper, they actually did a really cool job little on, on the zipper. Little, yeah, the little finer details. I like how they did it. Like, I went to the factory and where they make these covers at. It's pretty sophisticated how they do with it with the machinery and how it's all automated with these covers. It's pretty high tech. So let's open this up. All right, you go on so, this side, I go on this yep. thing. Okay. It's coming all the way through. Do you want to just, we don't have to take it all the way down. Yeah. So with this cover, so this cover, it is a stretcher cover, which according to their website, they do have, it is, it has some cooling properties to it. When I say cooling properties, there's some phase change materials that they put. Now, I have said this in past videos. If you've seen them, a lot of you might know my opinion on the cooling properties, which I think they work to a point, but they, after a while, they stop working. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of it is marketing, a lot of it is smoke and mirrors, in our opinion. So, because I've seen that, you know, once you put the mattress protector on, once you put bedding, like sheets, you know, your pajamas, you lose a lot of those properties when yeah. it comes to the cooling technology. And, you know, if you put your hand on it long enough, it does heat up after a while to your body temperature. Kind of like if you put your hand on a piece of metal, it does heat up eventually to it. So it's a temporary cooling, but you know, in my opinion. No, when you're testing on mattress in the store, it's without all the bedding. You say, hey, you feel the coolness. Yes. You're testing it out a few minutes at a time. Yeah. And so that helps to sell the mattress. Yeah, a lot of it is marketing. You know, clever marketing, good marketing. But so this is pretty unique though. So you have the cover, you have this stretchy, cool cover, you know, but then you, 
you have another cover on it. What's going on right here? So there's another cover. This is really cool how they did it. They actually have two covers in one. So this is gonna be another part of that cooling technology right over the foam. So, and this, they, they take this, cause you, they say you could wash this. Yeah. Which on a lot of the cheaper memory foam ones that we've done in the past, you just take it off and then you're just exposed with that fire retardant yeah. sock. And if you take that off with just that fire retardant sock exposed, you have all those little fiberglass particles that you gotta be careful on. Mm -hmm. This one, you don't have to worry about it. If you take off the cover, you don't have to worry about the fiberglass fibers in that sock. So this makes it a lot more convenient. So yeah. again, some of those details, there's a reason why this is gonna be on the upper level price point than your typical Casper or Tufta Needle type yeah. mattress. They you really know? put, yeah, stuff into it. They, they really yeah. have put some- uh, There's some thought, there's mm -hmm. some time, there's some, you know, some money that they actually put into this. Yeah. So, but, but hey, we still gotta cut it open. Yeah. I wanna cut it open and see, where's my blade? All right, here's this blade. Got this blade from my when nephew for here, Christmas. I wanna cut it down here. No, let's do the top. Yeah. Right. This thing might be easier. You know, let's see. Actually, where are you starting? Let's see. Yeah. All right. Sorry. You know, some of these nicer mattresses, I don't like. I feel bad sometimes cutting them open, but we've got to remember we're doing this for the education and science. Okay, let's see. Okay. No. Real quick, with a mattress, cut, like with a memory foam mattress, it's good to have a lot of stretch. This stretch, point elasticity, they'll say, it's gonna be able to, you're gonna feel that, the foam underneath you a lot better. You know, if it's like a damask material with no stretch, you're not gonna get the advantage or that full effect of the memory foam, of the tempered material. Mm -hmm. So, real quick, let's just, since that, those, that cover's really nothing, let's give it a quick. How thick this mattress yeah. is, this is about a 12 and a half inch. Yep. All right. So the, here is that fire barrier sock that every mattress, as I said many times, has to pass the fire test. I could tell this sock is better than a lot of the cheaper socks. What I mentioned just earlier is they have that fiberglass sock where you have all those little, little fibers. This sock does not, you don't have to worry about it on this sock. You know, I'm not exactly sure the material. Or at least this not sock, as much, right? Not as much. Yeah, those other ones are could be just devastating in your yeah. house. This seems like it's a lot better quality than the ones that we've seen in the past. Yeah. So, but we got to open it up. Okay, here is, man, check this out like, as I just smack this. <laughs> this is hard. This so is this we, temper material. We talk about that sinking, right? So let's put, I'm just gonna put some pressure on it. Let's say you're sleeping on the bed, right? And then let's go ahead and like measure this. So I get up and rotate. Yeah, you said they were, they had an issue with the sinking in feeling. They really- Yeah, so then like, let's say you're in that hole, right? And then look, it's taking time to come back. And in here, you know? in a colder room, it's gonna take longer. In a warmer room, it will come back a little bit faster, yeah. you know? But yeah, I mean- But if that you... was the issue as far as like, you know, being like, oh, man, I just like stuck in the bed, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, if you like that stuck, and one reason why memory foam in general has that reputation of getting like hot. First of all, I mean, it does not really breathe that well. It does not mm -hmm. breathe like some of these other materials like latex, but also you're more in the mattress, not on the mattress. Like you're like, you're sinking quite a bit on here and you're mm -hmm. in it. So that's also going to play a, a factor in your temperature. You're getting hot. Yeah. That's why especially tempur has probably spent the most money and energy and time in, in selling the whole cool factor because it's such a big issue with yeah, yeah. memory foam in general, but tempur they call it temper material. It's still visco elastic memory foam. You yeah. know, they have tried to market it and make it more proprietary, but it's still memory foam, mm -hmm. polyurethane, petroleum based, you know, but yeah, just because it has that tendency, it's just a natural makeup of it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I can't get over how dang hard oh, I, I, know. <laughs> so, it, it, I actually kind of like the feel. Right? Yeah, just I mean, like, it's, it's hard. Like yeah, I mean, like, it. you know, a little stress relief too. You want to, yeah. you know, just use it for like a like fidget. Box. Yeah. yeah, I'm like a punching bag. So, but, um, so here, let's see. So we got the top layer. Let's go from the top down. All right, so we have, these two are like, you can see that they're glued together. Mm -hmm. So that first layer you got is two and a half inches of this tempered dap layer yeah and then the next one is gonna be two two inches now this is a bit i could just tell they're both firm but this one feels a little bit firmer than this one mm -hmm. so and that's more of a transition layer now this is not memory foam right this is not tempered material this is gonna be like a softer polyurethane just a regular polyurethane foam 
So this is going to be, what is that? About Almost two, and, two, and two and three quarters. Which, so you sink in from the top, you see how you sink in, like if you put your weight on it, progressively gets, firms it up. And now this is, there we go, Gabe. Look at, there you go, Gabe. There we go. All right. So this is convoluted foam. Convoluted foam was really popular, still pretty popular with polyurethane foam. It's that A-crate foam that you see in a lot of places and toppers, you know. So they'll probably call it six inches, but depending on where you're measuring at, right, five, six inches. Here's the thing with convoluted foam, you know, there's a good story where it come, talks about airflow. But again, once you put your, your, your glue on here, you're not getting a lot of that airflow. Sometimes they'll, they say it's good for taking away the pressure, but a lot of it, it's a money saver. You know, they can say they have six inches of foam on here, but they use this fancy machine that cuts it like this and they can like double the amount of foam that, that they get out of it, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, a lot of it is more money marketing, but um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan because it doesn't make it better. You know, at least mm -hmm. in, in our experience, it doesn't make it better. These things can over, over time, you know, start to compress some, but the support layer. So you get your support, the deep down support. You got your comfort layers right here where it progressively goes firmer. So let's see anything else that you see on here with this temper. No, no, I mean, nothing underneath the bottom or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, they definitely, a lot of the foam mattresses that, that we take apart and we do, you know, they have, you know, the, this is what did we say, 12 and a half inches. Yeah. They're heavy, or they're, they're 12, about the same thickness, but they're a lot lighter weight. Yeah. And a lot of that is due to the density of the foam. Here's a little thing with foam quality. The higher the density, the better it is. The longer it's going to last you. Yeah. And we are going to be doing a video on foam density because that is such an important part. That's where with memory foam and tempur material, you want to get a high density temper material, high density memory foam. Yeah. These guys, at least from the early days, they're about a 5.3 pound density. Some of the softer ones are going to be probably closer to a four, but part of the quality comes in from the density. They do make good quality memory foam. It's not like, you know, those uh, Costco Nova foam, right? Or these, you some know. of these other ones that you see for like four or 500 bucks on, on Amazon, you yeah. know, it's, there is a difference, but is it? Not all memory foam are yeah. created the same, right? They're not quite like, a bit more to it in, in this one than a cheap yeah. $650 one. But as far as $4,000 worth, so this is a king size. So this is almost five thousand, like forty-eight hundred dollars worth of foam in here. Mm -hmm. I say there's a probably about maybe eight hundred to a thousand. If I had a guess, I would say between eight hundred and a thousand dollars at the most. Not even a thousand dollars, but on the wholesale, eight hundred to a thousand dollars worth of foam. Yeah. You know, so that's a lot of money for a foam mattress. But again, if it helps you, if you have the money and it helps you sleep better, then it may be worth it. You know, yeah. like I said, comfort. Hey, Gabe, we haven't done this in a while. See how how firm this is. Uh, not, not today. Not today? Not today. Man, you yeah. lost all this weight. You're more limber. No. You lost felt, about 30 pounds this past yeah. year. I, uh. felt, I felt it uh, earlier. And it, it's rock hard. Is it rock hard? Yeah. Okay. So not today. Sorry, ladies. We're not going to see him jump up on the mattress today. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I hope this helped you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions on mattress shopping, just give us a call, put in the comments. We pick apart a lot of other different mattresses. You could click on the next video to see that. Or if you have any, you want just more mattress education, click on the, the video next to it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, God bless.